congratulations. How does it feel to hear your name called? Oh, it's great. I mean, uh, growing up near Toronto, it's uh, you always watch watch the Leafs growing up, come to a few games, and uh, it's a great feeling to be picked by them. Um, actually, yeah, this year I really watched uh, Morgan Riley. I mean, uh, he's a player I feel like I play like, and um, he's obviously very skilled and uh, a good player to look up to, I think. Yeah, I was texting him before. Oh, yeah. Uh, what did you learn this uh, playing hockey with Connor McDavid all those years? I mean, you've been together known each other since years. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, seeing him go through the progress of uh, becoming the player he is, it was uh, it was pretty amazing to be to be a part of that, I guess, and uh, see him progress through the years and to uh, to be a pretty good buddy with him as well. Does he push you? Like when you see what he does in practice and just on his own, does that make you want to do more too? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, going up against him one on one in practice is kind of it's a hassle, but I mean, uh, it's it's something I look forward to every practice. I mean, he pushes everyone on the ice and. Uh, He's at next level that if anyone wants to get there, he's, they're going to be able to be able to stop him. So. Any, any advice for NHL defensemen about him? <laughs> Not much you could do. <laughs> what kind of reaction are you anticipating when you go back home? I mean, hopefully positive reaction from all the fans, but um, I know it's going to be tough. I mean, Toronto media is pretty big, so uh, so I'm I'm pretty excited for everything. I mean, uh, I like lots of pressure. I feel like I play better under pressure, so uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And how about like friends and family? Uh, I imagine mm -hmm. they'll be pretty. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, uh, being a hometown team, it's uh, it's going to be great. I mean, I'm sure. Hopefully, I get enough uh, fan support from my family. Hopefully, down the road. But um, yeah, it's going to be really exciting. Guys, about taking the next step? What do you have to do to take that step to the next level? Yeah, I mean, obviously, guys at the next level are always going to be bigger and stronger. So going through the levels, I've I found already from uh, like minor hockey to junior and junior to OHL, you sh you sh got to make sure you're big and strong, and make sure there's no one, no one that has a more of a speed speed balance in you so I mean if you keep getting bigger and stronger I feel like uh, that's what I need to work on. Do you think the Leafs had they shown that much attention to you that you thought maybe that was the pick they were going to make? Um, yeah I guess no teams really come out and say that they're going to pick you so um, so it's kind of up in the air with what team is going to pick me and uh, I'm just really honored to be picked by the Leafs. Do you look forward to being part of the rebuild there especially being from the Toronto area? Yeah, yeah. I mean growing up and seeing them go through their, uh, their great years and maybe some years that they weren't too proud of uh, it was really cool seeing that and being a part of the team. That's what they're going through right now is really exciting as well. Leave stuff in your room as a kid and all that sort of thing. Yeah, fu funny thing is, my mom actually put a big uh, a big leaf banner behind my bed before a couple weeks before the drafts. So. <laughs> <laughs> Were you planning to maybe get in touch with a Connor Brown, someone I think he played with? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually talked with Connor the other day. So uh, I <laughs> hopefully he's excited that I got drafted here, and uh, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, I am as well, so uh, it'll be good to see him down the road. You played against Mitch Marner in uh, junior. How does it feel now to be his teammate? I mean, pretty cool. I mean, we don't know each other too well, but um, I'm sure I'm sure we'll get to know each other pretty well. I mean, he's a great player, and uh, he seems like a really nice guy off the ice as well.